Welcome. So what we're going to do is it says simplify the square root. And sorry, I have a little stuff on my fingernails. I've been uh, tiling a house. But it says simplify the square root. Square root of 81. I don't know why I want to tell you that. I guess maybe just so you could understand my fingernails are dirty. Simplify the square root. A square root of 81 and a square root of 36. So, you know, we talked about square root. We talked about the radical symbol and the radicand. So I'm just going to go through these two. And then I'm pretty much going to tell you to get these memorized. And I understand your whole point of, oh, you know, Memorizing is not learning, and you're right. However, um, square root and square numbers come up so often, um, it is something that you're going to want to have memorized that you can use kind of in your toolkit to quickly be able to revert them. All right? But let's go at least through the idea of finding these two square roots, and then um, I'll, just get to, I'll just go through the rest of them really quickly, at least a good set for you guys to understand. So we have the square root of 81. And what the square root says is the square root means what number multiplied by itself gives you 81. And the answer is 9. The reason why is because when I square 9, that means 9 squared, I get 81. So you can think of squaring and the square root as opposite operations. 9 squared equals 81. Square rooting 81 equals 9. So then let's look at the square root of 36. What number multiplied by itself gives us 36? Well, you can just think of ones that you know. 5 times 5 gives you 25. 7 times 7 gives you 49. And the square root of 30, um, but 25 and 49 are both high. And you end up looking at 6. 6 times 6 is 36. So let's check it. Does 6 squared equal 36? And yes, it does. So what I want you to do is please just have these memorized. You should know 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 equals 9. And to get a little dork error when I first learned my multiplication symbols or multiplication skills, the first thing I did to remember was I, mul I just had these all memorized. I don't know why. I couldn't multiply. I couldn't remember all my multiplication or you know my times tables. But I wanted to have something to memorize and these were the easiest ones I guess to do that because they're they're special right they're the same number multiplied by itself and I don't have all of them memorized but I think it's important that as a student um, you at least get up to 15 times 15 and the reason why is because what I've noticed in a lot of textbooks if you know at least 15 times 15 that can help you, you know, multiply 15 times 12 and so forth. And you know, that's really where a majority of a lot of your numbers um, that's already going to, oops, I'm like not as talking. 196, 15 times 15 equals 225. If you guys can just remember these sets of numbers, you'll be very well off in helping yourself out. So what I mean by, so these are all square numbers, so therefore I can say square root of 225, Oh, that equals 15, right? Square root of 196 equals 14. Square root of 121 equals 11. Okay, you should be able to do those that quickly. So get these numbers memorized so you can be able to do that.